Hey Grade 5, it came to my attention when I was editing together the transformations video that that thing ended up being more than 20 minutes long. So to help you out, I've broken it into a few smaller parts, each transformation is also getting its own video. Now this is the same content you would have seen in the big video, but these ones are about 5 minutes long each instead of 20. Uh, it doesn't include the stuff about the coordinate plane, so if you want to see that, that's still in the first video, but here it is for you. Enjoy! This video is the one for rotations. Now rotations can be really overwhelming at first, it can be a lot, but it does start to come naturally with a little bit of practice. You need to make sure ahead of time that you know a couple of things, and that's your angles for how far the turn's going to be, what 90 degrees is, what 270 is, or what 180 degrees is as a turn, and which way is clockwise or counterclockwise. If you've got that, the rest should come, but following along with which direction turns into what, and keeping all of that in your head can be a lot. A trick if you're stuck that is very helpful, say you're watching this for the second or third time and it's still too much for you, is to get a piece of parchment paper from your kitchen. You know that kind of semi-transparent paper you can use when you're cooking? If you trace the shape on that paper, you can still see the paper you were working on originally through it. So you can hold that paper in place and turn it around. And that can really help you see and make real the kind of transformation that we're doing. It can really help to have it in front of you like that. So pro tip if you're struggling, get some parchment paper, trace the shape, and turn it that way. That will hopefully help you start to see how this all works together. Otherwise, good luck. This time we're talking rotation. Now this one is the trickiest of the three transformations that we talk about. It's still not actually super difficult to do, but it can be a lot to wrap your head around the first few times that you do it. This time we're going to turn a shape. And just like the reflection, the first thing we need to do is be specific about where we're turning it around. I do this by drawing the dot I want to use as the center of my turn, and then naming where it falls on the coordinate plane. This dot I've drawn is six units right, x6, and three units up, y3. So I name its x first and its y second. I'm going to call this point 6, 3, to say it's 6 to the right of my 0 and 3 up from it. Now I need to say how far I want to turn my shape. This is why we should have studied angles first, and did, if you're seeing this in 2020. We only work with increments of 90 degrees in grade 5, so my options are 90 degrees, 180 degrees, or 270 degrees of, of turn. And I can do this either clockwise or counterclockwise. For this example, we're going to do a 90 degrees clockwise turn about 0.63. Now what makes this trickier than a reflection is that points aren't just one direction away, the way they are from the lines in a reflection. Here, I can say point A, B, and C, uh, B is up here, sorry, A, B, and C. And when I look at, for example, point C, I see it's two to the left and one down. So I need to tr uh, keep in mind two different directions at once when I'm doing this rotation. If you have the tools, I suggest making a spinner like this one. As I said, rotations can get a little bit tricky. So I actually made a little wheel to help me out with it. This is going to help me remember how things turn as they do. If you'd like to make your own, it's pretty simple. You need two circles of paper, a pen, and a pin. So follow along here. If I'm turning 90 degrees clockwise, I can turn this front wheel 90 degrees clockwise, a quarter turn that away. Looking at it, I see that now what was up before is on the right. What was left before is up. What was down is left, and what was right is down. This is why it's a little bit tricky to do rotations, because you have to keep track of the way that every direction changes as you do them. But if you have something like this, some kind of manipulative to help you out, it's not too hard to keep track of. 
let's put this wheel to use. Now if you have a wheel like I do, you can use it to follow along on this next part. If not, I'll draw an example one for you. I've got up, down, right, and left. But if I turn 90 degrees, they move a quarter turn clockwise around the circle. So up is now here, right, down, and left. That's the way everything's going to be changing as we do this. Now, let's start with point C since it's the closest to our point of rotation. It is two to the left and one down of my rotation point, six, three. This means my new point, since left turns into up and down turns into left, should be two up and one left. There is our new C. A is one up and one, two, three, four left. Well, that one up is going to turn into one right. And that four left is going to turn into one, two, three, four, up. I've got A prime over here. I'm going to quickly erase this line that I drew so that it's a little bit clearer to see for us. So I've got my new C and my new A. All I need now is my new B. B is one, two, three, four up and one left. Four up turns into four right. One, two, three, four. And four, one left turns into one up. Now I've got my new B. Make that line a little bit bigger. Once I've moved all of my points, the same way I did with the reflection, I just have to connect those dots and I've got my new shape. So let's connect A to C, A to B, and B to C. I just turned that triangle one quarter turn clockwise, 90 degrees clockwise, around 0.63. So again, to do this properly, you need to count how far from your point of rotation each corner of your old shape is and adjust those to the new directions you get when you do a turn. You can draw something on the side like I've done here, or you could make a wheel like I've done in the video earlier. Whichever works best for you. As long as you can keep track of those changes in direction, you can turn a shape.